Hi, hello and welcome back to F1 Challenge VB. My name is Mephisto and our journey through the history of Formula 1 continues today with the 5th round of the 1968 season, the Dutch Grand Prix. It was held on the 23rd of June, it had 19 entries, all of them took part in the race with 10 ending up retiring. The race consisted of 90 laps completed in 2 hours, 46 minutes and 11 seconds. Chris Amon started the race from pole with Trent in second who retired on lap 40 due to an ignition problem. Graham Hill was 3rd on the grid but returned on lap 82 after an accident. Brabham started from 4th but spun off on lap 23. Stewart was 5th on the grid and X started the race from 6th. After a phenomenal drive, Stewart took the lead of the race and won the Dutch Grand Prix from Beltois, who started from 16th. He was 1 minute 33.93 seconds behind. Rodriguez climbed from 11th to 3rd, he was 1 lap down. X went from 6th to 4th, he was 2 laps down. Moser climbed from 17th to 5th, he was 3 laps down, and Chris Amon dropped from the lead of the race to 6th and was 5 laps behind. Beltois proved to be the fastest man of the race, posting a time of 1 minute 45.91 seconds on lap 6. Here we are once again amidst the sand dunes of Zandvoort where a lap starts off with a long run down into turn 1, a tight 180 degree right hand hairpin with a bit of a camber. Next are turns 2 and 3 forming a medium speed left right chicane which leads directly into turn 4, a tight 180 degree bank left hand hairpin. From here the track opens up until we reach turn 7, a medium speed right hander. The track opens up once more until we reach turn 12, another medium speed right hander, which leads into the final corner of the track, turn 13, a high speed right hand sweeper that brings us around onto the main straight and that is a lap around the Zandvoort circuit. So here we are in qualifying for the Dutch Grand Prix coming around to set our first qualifying lap a 126.427 and there are a bunch of cars all over the track which is quite dangerous but hopefully things will go well. I would obviously like to improve on this time we are 10 seconds, 9 seconds slower than Jackie Stewart's small time but which is not good as we come around lap uh, turn 12 there I touch the curbing on the inside. That flips my car upside down and that is the end of our race unfortunately as one of the Ferraris has smoke coming out of its engine but that was an, the end of qualifying unfortunately. As we take a look at the previous Dutch Grand Prix winners, the last time we won here was in 1961 so that was quite a long time ago hopefully we'll do a little bit better here today but we'll have to wait and see obviously as we take a look at the grid lineup with where we have Jackie Seward on pole with Denny Holm second. Graham Hill 3rd, 4th, Bobby Unser, Richard Atwood is 5th and rounding off the top 6 is Jackie X. In 7th we have Joe Sifford followed by Bruce McLaren in 8th, 9th is Joe John Surtees, Mario Andretti is 10th, 11th Jochen Rent, Scarfiotti 12th, 13th is Pedro Rodriguez, Chris Amon is 14th, in 15th we have Pierce Courage followed by Lucien Bianchi in 16th. In 17th we have Vic Alford followed by Derek Bell in 18th. In 19th we have Brian Redman followed by Joe Bonnier in 20th. 21st is Dan Gurney, 22nd Johnny Servos Gavin, 23rd Jackie Oliver, 24th Henry Pescarolo, 25th John Love, Dave Charlton 26th, 27th Jean-Pierre Beltois, 28th Jack Brabham, 29th Kurt Ahrens Jr., 30th Joe Schlesser, 31st Andy Higgs, and Silvio Moser, 32nd. So that is the grid lineup for today's race. Uh, once again, hopefully things will go smoothly and unfortunately, once again, there will be no replays this race in this re video either because of the same reasons as before. Every time I try to load the replay file the game kept crashing so that is that and we have a car there who is out of the race uh, he was in the middle of the road as we come into turn one Silvio Moser there going very slowly I nearly crashed into him but Gurney and Eamon are already out of the race so that's okay I guess for someone <laughs> as we come through the chicane and into turn four here can we get around Aaron's Jr. Hopefully we can soon enough. That would be quite nice. Obviously would we would like to get as high as possible in in this race and we get around Aaron's so that's 28th now. 
and we're looking at Joe Schlesser hopefully we can get around him as well soon enough we're starting lap 2 here and we are just about to overtake Dave Charlton and there we go that's 26th and once we are once again looking at Joe Schlesser who himself made managed to climb up a few positions starting lap 3 here and a bunch of cars uh, lose control of their cars they were Joe Schlesser Joe Bonnier and Vic Alford so they are out we move which which allows us to move up into 23rd so that's quite okay I guess and we are now looking at Johnny Servos Gavin hopefully we can overtake him at some point that would be nice here we are st coming around to finish lap 3 and we get around Gavin he was very slow on the straight there not quite sure why and there were a few more retirements Atwood Love and Moser have retired this lap as well that moves us up into 20th so uh well making quick work of everyone mostly due to retirement but hey here we are coming around to finish lap 4 and Lucien Bianchi is slow on the straight as well so we move up into 19th and we're looking at Jack Brabham can we overtake him that would be quite nice if we could although he does have a faster car but who knows maybe he'll make a mistake at some point he eventually uh, at some point he overtook Brian Redman and so are we so we move up into 18th and we are now looking at Ludovico, Casca Ludovico Scarfiotti who was also overtaken by Jack Rabon can we get around Scarfiotti as well yes we can as we come around to finish lap 6 he is very slow on the straight and we move up into 17th and once again ch we are once again chasing after Jack Rabon that's quite nice Coming around to finish lap 7 and Mario Andretti is out of the race. So is Joe Siffert and Jackie X. So that allows us to move up into 14th. And unfortunately Jack Brabham is slowly pulling away from us which isn't very good. But hopefully he'll make some sort of a mistake at some point and we'll be able to catch up to him. On lap 9 Lucien Bianchi retired at some point so he is out of the race. Although he's somewhere behind us, so we will not benefit from that. Then we move on to lap 15, when Johnny Servos Gavin also retired. But we, since we overtook him quite a quite a while back, obviously we will not benefit from his retirement. Lap 16 now, and Pedro Rodriguez managed to post the fastest time of the race. So, congratulations to him. That's very good, and. In, on the very following lap Pedro Rodriguez managed to re do something and retire from the race so that means we shall move up into 13th once we get around him lap 20 now and Jochen Rint is out of the race which means we will move up into 12th place which is quite nice and we are now looking at John Surtees at some point Jack Brabham must have gotten around him but uh, the gap to him is very very big and here we are coming around to finish lap 2 and I touched the curbing once again and just like in qualifying I hit something there was a some sort of a, some sort of a bump which uh, pro uh, caused my car to flip upside down and that is the end of our race which is quite unfortunate it was, we were so close to the end and well it didn't quite work out for us as we now take a look at a replay of Graham Hill coming around to win the Dutch Grand Prix congratulations to Graham Hill he did he did a fantastic job to uh, bring his car around and win Pierce Courage 6th 2nd uh, Unser 3rd 4th Seward 5th home and 6th is Oliver once again Pedro Rodriguez managed to post the fastest lap of the race there were a couple more retirements but they managed to finish 90% of race distance uh, distance and Henry Pascarolo was in did not classify since he did not complete 90% of race distance but that was the Dutch Grand Prix it was a better race at least this time our engine held up quite well unfortunately I made a mistake there towards the end of the race and well we that cost us quite dearly but yeah let's move on and here are the career statistics this was Andy's 166th Grand Prix his best start is from first has 16 pole positions has set 29 fastest laps his best finishes in first has completed 100 races 77 of them in the points, has won 44 Grand Prix, 4 at the Indianapolis 500, 6 in Monaco, has 8 championships under his belt, has scored a total of 521 points, has retired 66 times, 
has experienced 3,446 out of 4,337 laps, has 8 bronze trophies, 16 silver trophies, 44 gold trophies and as an extension 44 podiums. And here is a quick look at the championship standings. Graham Hill takes the lead with Pedro Rodriguez in 2nd, Pierce Carriage 3rd, Jackie X 4th, Ludovico Scarfiotti and Bruce McLaren firing for 5th. The last person with points is Jackie Oliver down in 20th. Andy Higgs is down in 36th and bringing up the bottom of the driver's standings is Mario Andretti down in 38th. Those are the driver's standings, let's now move on to the constructors where we have Owen Racing Organization taking the lead of the championship with Gold Leaf Team Lotus in 2nd, 3rd are Rec Parnell Racing, Scuderia Ferrari and Bruce McLaren fighting for 4th, Cooper Car Company are in 6th, the last team with points are Honda Racing down in 13th and bringing up the bottom of the constructor standings are Bayerische Motoren Verka AG down in 21st. So that was the Dutch Grand Prix, once again a very disappointing race for Andy and BMW, obviously this isn't what we would have liked. But luckily our engine held up quite nicely this time, hopefully it, it will hold up for the rest of the season and hopefully Andy will manage to pull himself together and manage to finish a couple of races and maybe even score some points, that would be quite fantastic. But yeah, that is the end of this video, not much more to add to any of it except for the fact that I'm very disappointed. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that is the end. Don't forget to vote for next season's team, link is in the description. Also don't forget to send in your name suggestions for Andy's son. The rules are as you know, just one suggestion per person and I would like to ask you to type name suggestion in the comments so it will be a little bit easier for me to find these comments at the end of the season when I will want to check all the names in order to put them into a straw poll. But yeah, that is the end so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, stay sharp.